big fish. Gigantic brook trout. Huge fish. Huge fish. Please stay hooked, dude. Please, for the love of God, stay hooked. Holy cow, dude! That's a gigantic brook trout. Hooked a nice brook trout, guys. Look at that thing. Wow. Come on. Dude. Come on, get in the net. Dude, that's a gigantic brook trout. I'm not kidding you guys. I haven't even recorded because I was just screwing around. I wasn't even sure if there were any in here. And I cast him to the back of that log jam. And I got a mega brookie. I can't believe it. Well, guys, I just kind of came down here because... I've never really fished this stretch of creek, although I've fished this creek multiple times. And I don't know, to me, this is in a very high numbers area. Uh, and I've never even caught a fish in here, maybe over like eight inches. Uh, and I come down here and the water's pretty, this is pretty big water, at least for brook trout, it's pretty big water. And I come up and I'm casting, I'm not even recording. And I'm not, I'm just casting, having fun. And I throw into the back of this hole where this root wad is and i caught a tank brook trout that's the biggest brook trout i've caught probably of the year and definitely the biggest brook trout i've caught out of this creek by a long shot just a kiped up male i don't know how big it is i guarantee it wasn't under 11 might have been 12 i don't know but that's a hell of a way to start it out i'm gonna keep fishing that i have a feeling that's gonna be the biggest fish i'm gonna see all day and if it is i will be completely accepting and i won't even be upset about it um but i'm gonna keep fishing because i got a lot of water to fish and i think if there's one big fish in here there's probably gonna be more so I'm gonna sit down, relax, take my time, and really pick these holes apart and cast it cover. And hopefully I'll catch another fish or two like that. Oh, that was a brookie. I would assume it wasn't very big just based on the style of the hit. Saw something else sip up there. Didn't look very big though. I'll try it anyway. Got it. I saw that fish sip. Well, it's actually not a bad brown brookie. Not as big as that first fish, but not a small fish either. I watched that fish eat. That was so cool. The colors on these fish, and this like tannic water is pretty cool. Thanks, buddy. That's cool. This strikes me as one of those holes where like it could be a really big fish, but I don't even know where it would sit. And I'm gonna end up like blowing this hole up before I ever figure out where the heck the fish are gonna be in this thing. I would think they would be like right in here, close to me, but I've been known to not know anything, so. What in the heck? the biggest flattest rock hole I've ever seen it's nowhere for the fish to freaking hide this is wild hmm maybe they, they could be up towards the very head of the hole I guess that would make some sense this hole was huge but there I'm telling you it wasn't a bit of cover in the entire hole which is like incredible Got one. I can say there had to be a brook trout in this hole. It's too big. Wasn't much cover, but I don't necessarily need a ton of cover for these fish. It's got enough little rocks and undercuts for them to live in. Chill out. Another healthy brook trout. Oh my gosh. 
He says, yes, I'm healthy, let me go. And I'm like, dude, I can't like let you go until I unhook you. See, here you go. What a king. Thanks, buddy. That's awesome. I knew there had to be one in here. All right. They're on a nymph as well, just to see if there's, oh, immediately caught one on the nymph. I was gonna say, I literally just changed to a nymph to see if the fish are not eating on top. And I immediately catch a fish on the nymph. I mean, first cast. So this might be the ticket that I was looking for. God, dude, those things are so pretty. Here we go, a little nymphy. Thanks, buddy. That's good information. That's actually the best information I've gotten all day. So I cast in there, who knows how many times with just the dry fly and didn't catch anything. And then I immediately get one with the nymph. It's like, interesting. Maybe we'll start catching some fish with this nymph floating around with underneath that dry fly if they don't want the dry fly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna switch to a little dry fly. I just saw big fish rise up there. All right guys, so I've seen a few very significant rises. So I'm gonna like kind of start casting this little dry fly around. They're kind of up around, like I can see kind of a big boulder in the middle of the water. It's kind of where I've seen most of the rises. Oh, that's a big fish, dude, that was way up there. Oh, I saw a big rise over there. I think if I get a different angle, I might go get close to that. That's pretty far over there though. I, I couldn't tell if that was a fish or not. Big fish too, a real nice one. Come on, I just saw that fish rise and I got him. Yeah, nice brookie. Oh yes, dude. Get out of there, buddy. Oh yeah, dude, that's awesome. It's a 10 inch fish, I think, looks like it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Eight 10 inch fish. Had to cast the country a mile up there to get him, but he ate this fly as soon as I got it into his range. Oh, dude. That's close to as long as that one I caught earlier. Jeez, sick. There's come other big ones rising in here too, so I'm gonna get take this picture of this fish and keep on moving. So I'm just gonna go over quickly uh, how I'm catching these fish today. So the water's been kind of low recently, which is part of the reason that I have been, uh, or I chose to fish kind of some bigger water today. Man, these bugs are atrocious. But uh, because the water's lower, I've kind of sort of made my own leader in a weird way. Um, so what I have is I have just like a seven and a half foot 5X leader from Cortland, just like a store-bought leader. And then what I've done is I've taken the 5X and then at the end of the 5X, I have tied on about a two to three foot section of 6X uh, nylon tippet. Here, I'll show it real quick. This stuff right here, this uh, 6X nylon tippet. And essentially, I did that because I want a little bit more length. I don't want the fish to even have any idea that they're getting fished for. And if they deny my fly, I want it to be purely based on the fact that they don't like the fly and not because they're getting spooked by line or something like that. Uh, the other thing is giving me that extra like couple feet of 6X allows that line to kind of just like plop on the water and let that dry fly kind of move naturally, which I think helps catch some of the bigger fish in the system. So that's what I'm throwing today. It's nothing special. Uh, as far as the fly goes, right now I'm just throwing a little parachute atoms, and uh, I think it's size 16. I tend to go a little smaller when the water's uh, low, but you don't necessarily have to. I started out with like a size 12 stimulator, and I was catching some fish on it. Matter of fact, I caught that big fish right off rip on a stimulator, so what do I know? 
I don't know how much it matters to be honest with you. I think as long as you get the fly in front of the fish, a lot of times for these, at least for these native brook trout, they're gonna eat it. So anyway, let's keep on fishing and see what we can get into. All right guys, so I was sitting here watching this hole and I saw what looked like at least a halfway decent fish rise way on this side against that rock. So I'm gonna hit that rock and hope this fish eats. That's not it. Try to pull it out of there. Oop. God, God bless, dude. I thought I saw a fish fall on my fly. That was a sweet eat. I don't know if that's the fish I saw that originally or not. Oh, he's a pretty one. Relax. Look at the colors on that fish. Good gracious. Whoa! That's an awesome little fishy right there. Thanks, buddy. That was cool. I don't know if that was the fish that I saw rise or not. It could have been, but it wasn't in the right spot for the fish that I saw rise. Let's see if I can actually get it to the edge of that rock where that last fish rose. Yep. No, I lost him! That was him. That was him. All right, guys, so I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a real good hole just up above me. I've seen, I just saw another fish rise. I've seen several fish rise. I'm gonna try to hit that one where it just rose. It's a good cast, or at least not a bad cast. Might have to be just a tad bit further up. I also saw one rise right in there. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, the fly came back and hit me in the eye. You might catch that other one before it realizes what's up. Good gas for it. Come on, buddy, you rose twice in there. Oh well, got one of them, I guess. Big fish, gigantic brook trout, huge fish, huge fish. Please stay hooked, dude. Please, for the love of God, stay hooked. Holy cow, dude. That's a gigantic brook trout. Dude, he came out from literally underneath that rock. Chill out, buddy. Dude, that's over 12 inches, without a doubt, over 12 inches. Holy cow, it's huge. <laughs> dude, dude, he came. Just chill out for a second, buddy. It's gonna be okay. He came from underneath that rock over there, guys. I'm shaking. Well guys, I can honestly say that I didn't expect to catch a brook trout even half that size in here. I mean, that was just incredible. That brook trout was definitely over 12 inches. Um, I've measured them on my rod roughly, so it's not a perfect measurement, but I did measure it kind of on my rod, and I'll flash that number up here somewhere, or maybe I flashed it earlier, I don't know. But nonetheless, it was just an absolute behemoth of a brook trout, and I caught it literally drifting a dry fly like dang near underneath the rock. Like the current was trying to pull the dry fly underneath the rock. And the sip was so subtle, it was just like, I was looking, I was like, is my dry fly even there anymore? And then I set off of that, and the head shakes, I was like, dude, that's a massive brook trout. So, uh, yeah, 
I think I'm probably gonna end my day there. Um, and I'll probably come back here in the future, maybe not too long from now, and uh, film or keep fishing up further. Cause I don't have a ton of time today, but I'll keep fishing up further. And hopefully I'll catch like uh, a couple other big brook trout like that and through here. Cause now that I know they're in here, I can kind of target them. And it doesn't seem like this creek has a ton of fish, but the fish that it does have are kind of big, which is not surprising cause it's big water. But anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.